Um, one of the things that this condo was kind of lacking was storage space. We decided that we're gonna do a sliding door um, right about here. So it'll be a sliding door and you'll enter into a walk-in closet. So we're gonna have storage for shoes on one side and you'll have coats at the back. We finally finished this whole structure. Um, so this structure, on the left side of the structure is basically gonna be um, the L shape of the kitchen. And then we're gonna have a barn, kind of a barn style door with a track on the top. Um, so in its closed position, it will close this door. And then in its open position, it'll sit on this wall. Yeah, I'm really pleased how this turned out. And um, the nice thing too is I've allowed enough dead space in between um, to allow for um, things like strollers or carts or just things that you want to put in, which is really nice. The um, track is now installed and we're going to have a sliding door. Um, now the sliding door has an arch in it um, and I'm hoping this works out, but basically what we want to do is have an antique mirror cut to the shape of the arch. Um, and then the door is going to slide this way and then you'll be able to access um, this closet. We've also gone ahead and installed um, these beautiful uh, agate pulls. So they're agate and they're wrapped with a gold wire. And then we used high gloss black. Um, and then we're just gonna have shoes through here. This wall is getting this uh, gorgeous wallpaper from California. Um, it kind of has a tribal feel to it, um, but it's, it's basically white and gold. Um, so I'm really excited to see this um, go in. Inside, we've gone with uh, really nice knobs and pulls. Uh, we did um, a lot of organization and it just keeps it really, really clean and organized and all your shoes fit in and all your coats fit in. And so if this home um, ends up being for a family, then that becomes really useful as well.